I'm so sorry. I just have to come out. It's been such an emotional and powerful experience. The fact that you're all here, you are amazing. It takes courage to show up tonight. Yes. It takes your time. You gotta speak up. You gotta hear yourselves. So I like to think logistics. How are we gonna improve this situation? How are we gonna make it any better? Number one, you gotta make sure you think about self-defense. So if you want to start ordering, I don't care, pepper spray, shotgun, whatever it is, have something to carry with you. Number two, you're gonna be in shock if somebody gives you racial slurs, any kind of racial remark. You're going to be in total shock. At the moment, you're not going to know how to react. So guess what? Maybe you could plan ahead. I've been thinking about this in my head for a long time. What if I do encounter this one day? What am I going to say to the person? You know what? I'm going to say, I will not argue with ignorance. I sympathize you. I really do. It must be really bitter to live in a life filled with hatred and bigotry. You need help. I'm going to pray for God to help you. You got to think ahead. At the moment, you're going to be in shock. You're not going to know how to react. And yes, we're not going to fight hate with hate. Because we're above that. But you've got to speak up for yourself. Okay, now, what are we going to do for our generation? Yes, we can talk about the next generation later. How are you going to raise your kids? Yes, that's going to be your plan. That's going to be your next plan, okay? But let, let's talk about what are we going to do right now? You know what? We need organization like this. Collective effort. Not individual. Okay? The sheer number of participants will be a powerful voice in itself. Whenever we have organ organized activities like this, we need participation. So number one, I really feel that we're all here. We're activists. Yes, you are. If not, you're not going to be here tonight. So if that's the case, you know what? We've got to get organized. What's going to happen to the police, the, the, the police, the policemen that spoke up about that shooting? What is the consequence? You know what? Maybe we should think about starting a petition. Just like the petition against Asian hate. The last time that I checked, we had more than 300,000 people that signed. We need organization. That's what we need for our generation. Let's start. We need to collaborate we need to have a collective voice. That's what we're going to do right now, that you could do right now. Don't say wait. This is what we can do for our generation. Okay, now let's talk about the next generation. I do agree. As Asian Americans, you know what? We encourage our kids to go into medicine, to become engineers. How many, of, how many of you thought about going, having your kids going into, you know, studying law, going into politics? You know what? It's a starting point. They may be in middle school, high school. You know what? Have them start running for positions at the school. They could be class reps. They could run for student council could be the president. 
of the human body. You know what? It doesn't happen overnight. They gotta get comfortable in that shoes. Getting in front of the public, public speaking. I'm sorry, it's actually more important than getting, getting A plus in math, in science. It's important. I mean, I've met so many that are well-educated, well-educated, PhDs. How many PhDs have I met? You're so smart, and yet you can't communicate. You lack the courage to stand up in front of others, in front of a huge crowd. You're afraid to make mistakes, or maybe that's not encouraged when you were growing up. You know what? That's what that's what Americans do. They encourage the kids to speak up. Ever since they're growing up. So you've got to make sure you provide that kind of family environment for your kids to speak up. For your kids to run for positions in school. To become leaders to be part of the student body. Encourage them. Let them know what's happening. What's happening in politics. We will have great leaders in the future, but we've got to make sure you provide that environment, you nourish that. That's what we could do of our generation. Thank you.